नमस्कार सत्याकाल आदाब हेलो दोस्तों फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू डे 21 ऑफ योर पावर बी आई लर्निंग सीरीज विद योर फ्रेंड एंड गाइड डिफके लर्नर टुडे सेशन इज नॉट अबाउट फिक्सिंग द डेटा येट इट्स अबाउट समथिंग स्मार्टर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई व्हाट्स रॉन्ग यूजिंग पावर बी आई इन बिल्ड इंटेलिजेंस हैव यू एवर वर्कड ऑन अ रिपोर्ट एंड didn't even realize something was broken until the dashboard looked odd maybe a value was misspelled a few entries were blank or worse there was a hidden formula error these little things can eat up hours or even days if we don't catch them early so today let's learn how to spot them in just a few minutes so what are we going to do in today's video in power query we get three brilliant tools called column quality column distribution column profile what does they give you column quality shows you how many valid empty or errors percentages are there column distribution reveals how frequently values repeat column profile provides deep stats and patterns for every column so you can understand it like these are eyes and ears in data cleaning before we dive in if you are finding this power bi series valuable please take a moment to like share and subscribe to the channel it really helps me keep creating meaningful content and who knows you or your one share might help someone save hours of confusion and maybe spend that extra hour with their kids parents or doing something what they love so chaliye shuru karte hain all let us begin so the first thing is i'll open up the power bi desktop i'll click on get data from here or i'll click on get data from here uh let's do it from the data set pane so i click on get data my data is a test text or csv file so i'll click on this and click on connect and then here i have a file with the errors so i'll click on transform when the data has been loaded in this dialog box because that will open the power query editor for me once you see the power query editor the three tools that i'm talking about would be available under the ribbon under the tag view so if you're there in the view let just i don't check everything and show you everything from the beginning so the first thing that i have to do is i have to click on column quality so the moment i click on column quality you will see there is a small uh, or a top bar which is coming there which shows you valid error and empty and it is showing everything in the percentage and we see that except the order date which is showing only 1% there all the other ones have zero percentages now the second thing is uh, that is where the column quality comes in picture the second is column profile so if i click on the column profile that is giving me the statistical value like count error empty distinct unique na that is not number zero uh, minimum maximum so those statistical value you can see here and you can see the value distribution chart so it tells you that this value this that is 1718 comes the maximum and you will see one thing more at the bottom you see that it is profiling everything for 1000 rows i can click on it and i can say for the entire data set so the moment i do that i'll see it for the entire data set and the count will change from 1000 to 5000 don't do it in a data which is of very large size because then it will take some time for you Uh, or for the system to give you that information so after column profiling comes the last part that we had to discuss today that is column distribution so in the column distribution you see that it is giving you in a small bar on the top and on each of them you see that it is telling you about the distinct and unique values i have another video which in which i have explained about distinct and unique i'll share that link in the description but try to understand that distinct is the values which which are distinct as in which are different unique is which only occur once so 
if I just click on all three of them, you can see all the three values at the same time as well. I just wanted to show you that you don't have to be having or clicking on each one of them separately. You can do it once and everything would be there. So, um, yeah, so this is how you can do the checking of the data before you actually decide what you have to do with the data. So tomorrow, right, tomorrow we'll talk about something of, for cleaning the data, right? But now let's just continue with the business relevance for this, right? These small insights save you from big embarrassment believe me i we have all faced it we have all seen those things happening to us where we took that report to the business and we found out that there was something wrong in the background that we didn't work on something like wrong figure or even a blank one but that certainly ruins the trust right we have to build that credibility we have to give them clean and confident data so so that our work become become credible and so are we becoming credible so that's what we should do right once you have identified the data so you can again if once you have found out the elements in the data right you can work on it and you can find and get that corrected right so those to agar aapko ye video helpful laga if you find this helpful right please like subscribe and share this with someone who work with data maybe a student a working professional or even someone who is transitioning their careers one share can save them hours of cleaning and maybe let them spend that time with their families or something they love we are not just building dashboards here we are building time clarity and peace of mind if you have any questions you can drop the questions ask ask it and learn it with divke learner right and for accessing the content i'll share another link in the video so you can follow it to get the content so just before you leave that was what we were doing today tomorrow we are going to talk about clean up and replace values or error so where we'll be fixing incorrect or missing or error values with confidence so till then right till we meet tomorrow till then ask it learn it with difficult learner and a lot of love thank you bye